Alabama's statewide mask order expired about an hour ago, and this means businesses and individuals will be able to set their own masking policy and enforcement. NBC 15's Colin Cahill spoke with folks visiting Mobile all about it and why they plan to keep a mask on hand. It's already a busy night downtown with Art Walk and other festivities getting kicked off just as we start the Safer Apart Health Order. In my vision, wearing a mask is not that bad to me. On the day the mask mandate expired, we still saw many people out and about in downtown carrying those masks with them. And with vaccinations rising and mask mandates lifted, opinions varied with people we talked to about if it's the right time to lift the mandates. But I do think it's a good time uh, now because there have been plenty of people who, uh, who have already gotten vaccinated. I feel like it's a little soon okay. and we'll still wear masks until this is all over. Lisa Cotter and her family are down in vacation in Mobile. They say mandate or not, they will continue to wear masks when they're inside. We drove here. I don't feel like we would get on an airplane anytime soon and we're at a campground so we feel relatively safe we're definitely going to wear a mask when we go inside anywhere along with masks the new order lifts restrictions on sporting events entertainment venues and all tourist attractions the governor has put the responsibility of keeping the numbers down into the hands of Alabamians obviously outside I'm, I'm fine not wearing a mask and uh, you know, in the grocery stores, I'm sure I can still practice social distancing even without wearing a mask. But um, again, if 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 a individual business, uh, restaurant, whatever wants me to wear a mask, then I'm happy to still do that too. Now, as for restaurants downtown, I talked with owners who said they will have their employees continue to wear the masks through the end of the month. Reporting in Mobile, Colin Cahill, NBC 15 News.